Okay, so some progress has been made. I have dug up lots of space, um, but here to the west there is a limonite and some other rock jet which leaves behind stone and is slow to dig. But I have started to move all my lumber to this place and I have moved my carpenter's workshop inside and this is what it is ah, this is the rest of the carpenter's workshop and or the masonry and this carpenter workshop has to be removed yes it's stated already for removal well my masonry is now here and here is some more space which is good but I have found a nice uh, rock one level below which is here and it also does not leave behind any stones it is clay so this will be dug up very quickly and uh, this will be other stockpiles or working rooms and after having done that I will start to dig down some four or five levels below um, to find a place for my luxury bedrooms um, because uh, they dwarves don't like if they sleep near to uh, the workshops and furnaces and s stuff like that uh, they hear that noise you can hear a noise from a workshop or furnace uh, for tiles Oh, four tiles from the epicenter so it's four tiles to the Z level there is noise or to all levels X Y Z levels that there is noise from a workshop so my bedrooms will be on, on some floors below I hope there won't be any cavern that soon uh, actually I should be making some floor hatches uh, in case I um, I encounter some cavern yes so my miners are already busy here yes that's good that goes very fast one of my miners is already what it says um, dwarf therapist professional miner level 9 and the other is just uh, expert miner yeah but um, they are doing very good I like these rooms <gasps> ah, th I haven't seen this um, they have a room to go here uh, I must construct a wall here build wall hmm. limestone wall yeah I don't like that it's not supposed to be possible that's good and that's good limestone wall and yes and then I will first let, let them dig this yes and what is doing my carpenter my carpenter is hauling. No, he's at the carpenter's workshop. That's good. Barrels and bins. My carpenter is here. That's nice. No idlers. I like that. So, and I'm getting a bit of worried about water. I we have already late spring, and there is the water is still very cold and icy. So. Um, Probably I have to start farming very soon any moment now and I don't have water maybe I will have to use some water from the cavern deep under which is not frozen um, well in that case um, I have not I'm not yet familiar with pumping water from a cavern up to a reservoir so 
we'll see about that. So this is how it looks like. This is my uh, um, bedroom level. It is some four or five levels below um, below the space where some workshops will be. One space above is this. We know this. So, um, but I'm concerned about water. Um, I think I will have to. The river is still frozen. I think I will have to dig deep until I found some underground water um, and somehow pump pump it up. And pumping water was something I'm I have not yet tried or done, so I'm not really sure how it will how it will perform. I'm really concerned about water because it is. Wait a minute. Uh, is it? How do I? Ah. It is late spring and water is still frozen and I want to have food. I have only... I don't have any food left. I can't fish. I can't hunt. There is, There are no critters outside. Ah, this can be fun. So we'll see. So and this is my bedroom level and I have dug down uh, no this is actually up so I go down now one two three four five six seven and here is already a cavern uh, seven eight nine ten and now it opens up and I this is this is the level where I have to put floor hatches uh, to avoid any flying critters which can be around. And now let, let's look how these caverns look like. Um, these are very huge and vast caverns, I see. Um, but the nice thing is... Wait a minute, I have to place the cursor somewhere here. Um, let me see where we are. We are here. And I think I can move move to another place, but because here down underneath the cavern or at the floor of the cavern is a great reservoir of fresh water, never freezing water. So I thought maybe I could dig um, a shaft here in this piece of rock and um, do, dig, dig below this uh, water. I don't know how deep it is, but I think somewhere below I could make something like a reservoir of, of water and to be saved and disclosed from the critters uh, in, in the cave. Another possibility would be this pillar of stone. Is it a pillar? Yes, it is. It, it goes up all the way. Okay, this would be even better. If I dig inside this pillar, that would be nice. Where do I end up when I go up? Ah, I see. Bedrooms here. And this. Okay. Very nice. So I would. This would be this one. Okay. That that looks good. That looks good. I just have to go very deep. Okay. Now. And here, here could be possibly somewhere my my farming field. Yes, I think so. The problem is, as soon as I dig a channel somewhere here all the creatures which live in the water will have free access um, yeah but I need the water don't I um, 
I have to think about this. Uh, how how do I how do I access this water? Uh, maybe I will read something in the wiki and see what we can do. Or anyway, I think I can end this let's play here. Um, no, not the let's play, but this part, and um, think about the water next time.